even though we're taking a little break from the triple digit heat, at least for the next few days, we know it'll be back very soon. And the record breaking temperatures that we've seen all across the country this summer can induce more pain, especially with those who have chronic pain disorders like arthritis. So joining us this morning is Dr. Joseph Pergolizzi, and he is with Health uh, Directions. Good morning and thanks for being with us. Good morning, and I want to thank you for having me on again. So explain a little bit about how the heat impacts our health. Sure. When you look at extremes in temperatures, very cold or very hot, um, individuals with chronic pain conditions are going to respond different than probably the average person. And when we look at heat, I think Stephen just mentioned before these dew points, that's the humidity. So when you combine high heat with high humidity that becomes a heat index and actually exacerbates the way your body's going to perceive the high temperature um, and for chronic conditions like osteoarthritis rheumatoid arthritis uh, multiple sclerosis chronic migraines and fibromyalgia all these people have temperature sensitivity that can exacerbate their pain so what can people do if I do have arthritis or if I suffer from chronic pain? What can I do now? And maybe what's something different? You know, yes, we know to find shade, right? And wear, you know, the right kind of clothes, but do you have anything that maybe we haven't heard of that might be good to do? Great question. And, you know, it's always nice to pull something different out, but it is also important for us to follow the basics. And you mentioned two of them. One is to always choose shade over sun, right? You want to move to a cool place, get yourself cooled down if you've been overheated. The second is to hydrate well. That includes in the very hot heat, trying to limit alcohol or caffeine, which can cause you to um, get more dehydrated. Then you want to wear a uh, clothing that is breathable, carry a, a, pot, a portable bottle of water, maybe one of the electric fans that connects to your uh, iPhone. Another thing I would suggest too is if you have joint or muscle pain and you're using a topical pain reliever, put that on first, let it soak in, and then put your sunscreen. Don't forget your sunscreen. Stretching and rest and, and exercise. Um, again, there's different things in the literature out there about it. Um, so it's important to try to uh, stretch also if you think that you're you're experiencing extra cramps related to the heat what kind of stretches should we be doing if we do suffer from chronic pain great that's another wonderful question you know people love hot yoga so similar to what you would be doing you know you want to stretch those bigger muscles in the body your legs your arms uh, make sure that uh, Again, you're really well hydrated when you do this and in a cool place if you can help. Doc, we appreciate your time this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope you have a great Saturday. Thank you. Have a good morning.